Why am I making Dungeons and Dragons DIY projects? I'm gonna explain. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. And I have joined the Reddit Gift Exchange. I'm really excited to be Secret Santa. This is my first time participating. I saw the gallery of other people doing it. Thought, that looks pretty awesome. I've got to get in on this. So I signed up for the 2018 Colors Exchange. You know, so you put in like what colors you like and then your Secret Santa is supposed to go with that. You fill out like a questionnaire of stuff you like and uh, they pick out your gift. So I, I think I put something lame on my questionnaire. Like I like millennial pink and gold. I'm not joking. So to my Secret Santa, if you hate me, that's okay. So who did I get? So of course I'm a 30 something female, you know, and I get a teenage male who is into Dungeons and Dragons, uh, the study of flags, which apparently is called vexillology, history, literature, um, and I think, oh, and he likes blue and green. So I was not really sure where to go when I first uh, saw who my match was. I gotta say though, uh, to my recipient, I am really impressed by your credentials. You are a very remarkable young man, and I have not met anyone with those types of interests. Clearly, you are a very well-read, very interesting person, and uh, I was actually pretty jazzed to get you. I think you're awesome. So if you are watching this, just know that I had a really awesome time just trying to figure out what I was going to do for you and also try to work in your interest. Oh yes, and he likes maps. So I tried to work in as many of these things as I could. I had to do a little research about d and I'd never played. It's a role-playing tabletop game. And my only exposure to it is watching characters on the Big Bang Theory play it. So I had to do some Googling. I also did a little bit of internet stalking to see like what kind of stuff he was into. And uh, I also discovered he has designed his own flag that like pertains to his D&D world. Okay, so here is what I came up with. Okay, so the first gift, this, a D this is a DIY project. And I'm going to show you guys how I made them. This is a dice tray with D20 dice as the little legs. And then I also got these uh, really cool wooden boxes from Hobby Lobby and I stained it. I did a little woodworking, haven't done that since seventh grade. Uh, put a little stain on it and uh, also put a some map. I lined both the dice tray and the box with map fabric. So I'm gonna cut to me showing you how I made these. First up is the custom D&D dice box. Most of these supplies are from Hobby Lobby and Amazon. This unfinished wood box is from Hobby Lobby, $4. Sanding time. Now staining in Minwax Espresso Shade, I applied two coats. then Minwax Polycrylic in a satin finish. Now lightly sand again. After printing out the flag design, I taped it to the front of the box and traced over it with a pen to lightly indent the surface. This 
made painting a lot easier using a set of acrylics and brushes, also from Hobby Lobby. When that dried, I applied one more coat of poly. I've had this matte print from Art Gallery Fabrics forever and thought this was a good time to use it. Using Yes Paste, I glued the fabric to cardstock, then cut it to size to line the inside of the box. The dice tray was fairly simple. Took a $5 frame from Hobby Lobby, it was on sale, and removed the glass. Inserted another piece of fabric mounted to cardstock into it. For a fun element, I glued D20 dice I got from Amazon to the bottom corners to serve as legs. Curious about what I received in the Reddit gift exchange? I've got an unboxing video on the Gen Talks Forever channel and I'll link it below in the description box. back. So I'm going to throw in the D20 dice that I got from the uh, Amazon order. I'm going to throw that in as a little bonus with the gift. And as kind of a fun extra too, I went to my local Asian grocery store, Zion Market. It's awesome. And my husband and I have had fun just going there and picking out random stuff to try. So I got all these all right, let me, let me get these. I got a bunch of like random food items that looked like fun. Also, I tried to get blue and green packaging because he likes blue and green. And I'm gonna send some of these things in the package. I've got to wrap everything up and, you know, get everything out in the mail. But uh, I really hope you like these gifts. I did my best. I don't want you to think they're lame, but uh, to my Secret Santa recipient, I really, really did try. Just Just know that. Uh, hopefully you enjoy trying new foods. I know I was enjoying a lot of these things as well, so I thought you might too. You, again, seem like someone who's really interested in other cultures and trying new things. You seem very adventurous, and I like that. Anyways, uh, for all of you watching, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me that thumbs up and subscribe to The Sewing Report for a lot more. I'm Jennifer, and I'll see you next time.